for level one of multiplying, we are going to be distributing a monomial. Okay, so we know what distributing is, right? We've distributed before something like this, where we multiply, multiply. This is not new to us. Okay, and we know what a monomial is. A monomial is one term. So a monomial could be 5x, could be 3n squared p, right? Could be a lot of things. Okay, so right now we're going to distribute a monomial. Okay, so we're just going to do two examples. Example number one. 6x times negative 4x squared plus 5. Okay, notice I have two of the, uh, the same variable here, right? I have only x's. Now I could have chosen to give the problem with n's and p's and all kinds of stuff. You should be able to do that, right? Like you should be able to, if, I'm, if I asked you to multiply this, you should know how to do that, right? That would be 3 times 4. There's 3 n's, 1, 2, 3, and there's 6 p's, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We know how to do that. But really where, uh, where the, the level needs to get higher is this kind of stuff where we have one variable and it's going to get more and more complicated um, with just that one variable. So I'm going to distribute. I'm going to multiply and multiply this this is the thing that you need to know. We are multiplying. We are multiplying, okay? We are not adding and subtracting, we are multiplying. So right now, when I do 6x, I'm doing 6x times negative 4x squared. So first multiply the numbers, six times negative four, right? So positive times negative is negative. Six times four is 24. And now, this is x times x squared, that's x times x times x, that's three x's, okay? Now I'm multiplying here, six x, right? So I multiplied six x times this already. Now I'm doing six x times five. Six times five is 30, right? Positive 30. And then I have one x, right? I have an x here and I have no x's here, so I just have a total of one x. And that's it, okay? I multiplied, I multiplied. This example, was a monomial, right, one term, times a binomial, two terms, one, two. Okay, we're going to do one more example, and this example is going to be a monomial times a trinomial. Here's my not monomial, 3x squared times 2x to the third minus x plus 7. Okay. So this one is a monomial, 3x squared, times a trinomial inside the parentheses, right? Three terms. But again, I am distributing. I am multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. Okay, I am multiplying. Do not add, okay? Never do three plus two. I'm multiplying. Three times two is six. This is x times x times x times x times x. That's a total of five x's. This is three times negative one, right? This is that invisible one. So three times negative one, positive times negative is negative. Three times one is three. And this is x times x times x, three x's. And then finally, three times seven is positive 21. And x squared, there's no additional x's here. So I just get x squared. That's it, okay? So it's just combining two things you already know how to do. You already know how to distribute, and you already know how to multiply a monomial times a monomial. And that's all we're doing, okay? Just be mindful, watch out for the details, don't make mistakes.